Hey bestie, welcome back to Radiology Roast Hour, where today's nonsense is all about the dysfunctional family tree that is x-ray generators. Let's ruin your day with waveforms. First up, we have single phase. This is the dollar store flashlight of x-ray generators. Voltage goes up and then face plants down like your GPA after physics class. The tube spends half its time doing nothing, and your patient is basically just sitting there getting blasted by a strobe light. Now we evolve to three phase, six pulse. Oh, look at you trying to evolve and be consistent. Voltage doesn't drop to zero anymore. Good job. Still bumpy though, like riding the kitty coaster at the fair. Safer, but a little sketch. Then the three phase 12 pulse generator enters the room, kicking down the door in a tuxedo. This bad boy smooths over ripples so good it makes silk jealous. The output is steady, efficient, and produces more photons per milliamp. Less wasted dose, better beam quality, and fewer hot pocket patients. And then finally, we have the high frequency generator. This, my friends, is the Tesla Model S of X-ray generators. Instead of chunky sine waves, it cranks that alternating current into tiny rapid pulses like 500 to 25,000 per second. The voltage ripple is Basically flat, smooth, clean, like your clinical scrub pants on day one. This is why modern machines have ditched your grandpa's three-phase 12-pulse generators. High frequency gives maximum output, consistent energy, less dose, and the waveform looks sexier than my EKG after too much caffeine. I fear this video may need to be a multi-part to also address the math that comes with these different types of generators. See you in part two.